usually they're, a lot of them you see they're born almost way back. But after a month or so, they're fine. They, they grow out of that's because everything's strengthening up. People, well, that makes sense. A lot sense. of times people start trying to do things, in my opinion, too early. They, oh. they worry because they're not perfect when they're born. I, when I worked with Farm Bureau years back, I had a secretary that had a child born. It was her first child, and he had a cone head when he was born. And she flipped out. Oh, my gosh, my baby has a cone head. And the doctor said, don't worry about it. Have you ever seen an adult with a cone head? She said, no. He goes, that's right, because they all grow out of it. Well, it's kind of the same thing with a lot of the... Everybody worries on these babies. You know, as soon as they're born, they expect them to be perfect. A lot of times, they just need some time to come into the world, you know? Well, we really feel like that's what happened to Bonnie. Is they, you know, they see a big animal, and they think they're capable of pulling thousands of pounds when they're two years old, and instead of giving their bodies the time they need to mature and for their, their tendons and and bones to form in the way that they're supposed to. Instead, they, they form their their tendons and joints from pulling and they develop arthritis. Yep. All kinds of problems. Well, a lot of times, too, confirmation plays a role. You know, if, if you've got poor confirmation, you're going to have a better chance of having arthritis problems when you age. One of the biggest ones that I see is pigeon toe. Almost all pigeon-toed animals end up with arthritis in their fetlock and knees when they get older. And, and they can't help it. That's how they're born. You know, you're not going to fix it. We don't fix it in people. We can't fix it in animals. I mean, you can help it. Try to, you know, make them as comfortable as long as you can. And a lot of pigeon-toed animals actually do very well. They have very successful careers. A lot of your top performers. Most of your top performing horses. A pigeon-toed horse wings out. So he never interferes with it. So he never hurts himself, whereas if a horse that toes out a little bit, sometimes when he's doing his athletic maneuvers, he'll hit his other leg. When you start hitting yourself, it hurts, and so you quit performing as well. That doesn't happen with a pigeon toed animal. So I've always been amazed by the number of great animals that were on the pigeon toed side. So I've never looked at it as a reason to say, don't get an animal, because there's been so many super pigeon-toed animals, in my opinion. Oh, I'm just glad you're doing that, not me. But, and you're burning some calories doing it. The flip side is, is when they get old, they end up having knee prop, they get arthritis, and they get achy. Well, we've got one right across the street, remember? Cherokee, the tank? Who? Uh, Comanche, excuse me. Comanche, the tank of a horse. Mm -hmm. the, and she's a she's pigeon-toed, and she's got arthritis in her knees. Yep. One, one it, of the problems. It won't ever go away. It'll just gradually get Our worse. Mayors. So, you can't. Mother and grandmother were pigeon toed. Yeah. Her grandmother lived to be almost 30. Okay. So, I mean, our gelding has arthritis. And what happens is animals age. I get frustrated because a lot of people got these animals that are 15, 18, 20 years old and they expect them to be like two year olds. But what happens is when they get older, if you're using them for things, it becomes more about pain management. Yeah. You're not going to fix them. You just got to manage. Just like me, some days I hurt. I got to take IV Motrin or something. Well, a horse may need a little butte to be able to do his job today. You know. But I do think that with you know the consider what what happened with Bonnie had a lot to do with how she was started early in life. It could have been because her confirmation was actually pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, another happy customer. Thank you, Walter.